Professor David here again. Guys, pay attention, pay attention. Got in a good one for you today. Another video that we're shooting. Guys, once again, defense against two-hand push. Now with two-hand push, it's different from a two-hand grab. And it's also different when you have space and real estate and when it's extreme close quarter. So we're gonna work that for you today. To another level. How are you today, guys? Once again, we're back. Myself, Sensei Kenny. Now we're gonna work that two-hand push. Once again, guys, I showed you before. When a man puts two hands on you, you got pushing the two-hand push, which is a common thing. People come up and go like that, and people go like that, and people go like this. You see it all the time, right? It's a common thing. Most people, they are worried about addressing their hands. Don't put your hands on me. Yo, don't put your hands on me, and they're worried about their hands, okay? But, that's not the problem. The problem is, guys, if you don't move your hands in the right way for a quick review, if I push down too far, he's coming in, he's going to grab me. If I come inside and go too wide up, he's going to get underneath and grab me. He's gonna go underneath and scoop me up because I'm giving it to him. Watch the motion again. All the way around, he's gonna get underneath and lift me up and then there's gonna be a problem. Most people, when they get lifted up, they start to swing. The man just buries his head and then now he takes you down. That's where the problem comes from a technique like that, okay? So we don't do that. And when you push down, because it's like a, oh, uh, this man is shoving you. So if you push down too far, he's coming into you. So we use a technique we call the table, where you bounce off the table. If you haven't seen that video, go look at that video so you can understand. I, I break it down for you. Right now, I'm going into close quarter. So now, when you have real estate, you can afford to do something like this, shove the man back, and work with the amount of real estate, attack him, and keep him moving backwards. Because you got real estate. But if you don't have any real estate, now, you, you're like this. So now you have no real estate. So now, when you, if you try to do a technique like this, and shove the man back, and you go with him, there's, real estate. there's no real estate. He's going to start swinging left and right, you're going to start blocking, and it's going to go into a fight. You never want to turn a self-defense situation into a fighting situation. And for those people who say, well, isn't self-defense fighting? That's a whole nother video where we're going to break that down. The answer to it is no! Self-defense is self-defense, fighting is fighting. So now, I can't go back. My back is up against something. So I have very little room to work with. So in this technique, when I go down, it is similar to what we use in the other video, two-hand push when you come up. You notice I keep telling you to go to the other videos because I want you to check us out. We have a lot of great videos in our program for you to look at for free, guys, that you can learn from. So take the moment out and go look for them because it's good stuff. Back to the video we're doing now. Now, when he comes up, in this sense, I cannot afford to just stay here because now he can headbutt me, I can headbutt him. So I have to understand motion and movement. So in this one, I'm going on top first. I can't go anywhere, I go on top, I push him back, but watch where my hands go. My hands slide down to make sure he can't punch me in the face. So we're extreme close quarters, like this, this, and slide down to get it, I pin his hands. Now when I pin his hands, I can start lunging my headbutt in while I pin his hands. And as I lunge my headbutt in, he's worried about the headbutt, I Throw the knee, which once again causes him to bend. 
at these bends. Then I go into his vision. Once again, wrap my hands into his face, put my back against the wall, and I'm using the wall for security. I'm holding it here until the elevator door opens. He starts to wiggle and fight. I put him in a choke, interrupt his vision, stick my fingers in his nostrils, rip his nose upwards off his face, smack his legs back down. Guys, this gets dirty, and this gets violent because it's extreme close quarter. I will stick my fingers in his nose and pull up and rip his nose away from his face. I have to cause as much pain in the shortest period of time as possible. So I got no time to throw blows. Trap his hands, headbutt, 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 knee, break his kneecap with my foot, stick him in the eyes, turn his head, put my back to the wall, he continues to fight, grab his nostrils, rip up, and take it from there. You think this is violent? You looking at this and say, oh, that's real violent? This is not violent. Taking that woman in the subway, the way that man threw her to the ground, stomped her out, a mother of five, that's violent. She can't see, she lost her eye. That's violent. And those men that were there, they ran. So don't tell me that this is violent. This is what you need to do to stop someone from hurting you. You have to become somebody else for 30 seconds and go back to being the kind, sweet person that you are. Guys, we keep it real. We keeping it real. We're not a clown, this ain't a circus. We're not here to show you puns and games. We're here to give you good information that you can use to stop someone from hurting you. And like always guys, if you're interested and you really want reality-based information, stuff that you can use right now today, if you are ever in a situation, hit that subscribe button guys. All right, we'll be bringing you a lot more videos and you can share it with your friends, family members, coworkers, whomever. Thank you very much. Because this is the place where rank don't matter. We're all men and women trying to get better and stopping someone from hurting us in personal protection. We are not like the other schools that tell you you gotta be a certain level, a certain rank to get a certain amount of information. All that is nonsense because these crooks, these thugs, these, these, these I don't even know what the hell to call them. I'm trying not to curse on video. These people out here who are these predators don't care about me, you, your mother, your grandmother, my father, your mother. They don't care about nobody. They're out of hunting. And let's turn it around on them. We hunt them instead of they hunt us.